Like last season, Dad requested more transfer revenue of his board. And this time it was accepted. He got 55%. My board, however, are blocking me from selling players who did terrible for me and cost a lot less than what I'm being offered. Dad even managed to persuade his board to raise the transfer revenue again to 70% just a month later. All my board did this summer was sign Dad Scouts. Dad was celebrating more wins as Langstaff scored for the first time in 13 hours. And that's the last player Notts County need to be underperforming. Right, so Dad, although you didn't sell any players, you still had the money left over from that Louis Watson deal. I couldn't sell anybody. No, no. one wanted to buy money. <laughs> uh, which meant that you did have enough in like your budget to obviously start bringing in free transfers. Yeah. Annoyingly, you obviously couldn't sell anybody despite finally managing to get a decent uh, transfer revenue of up to 70%. Maybe that's something for next season, though. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Because as we've seen from what I've been doing, getting in free transfers and then selling them on in the in the next years has actually gave me a lot of money. Yeah. Maybe that's something you can do. Uh, so let's have a look at the players you brought in. Yeah. Because we've got Carney here, uh, centre midfielder. You can also play centre attacking midfield. The, the Chelsea's. Yeah, Chelsea's. Yeah. I thought, this Academy. Good, I thought this was a good sign in Rooney, really, so I was glad to get this boy in. And like you say, it's getting a young lads in that hopefully will do good for me for next season. So Yeah, I mean, already his value is £15 yeah. million, pounds, so that would be that'd be great for next season if somebody did come in for him. Uh, you got Joe... Oh, that was last season, wasn't it? Uh, we got Jeremiah Chilokua Muller. Uh, did you just sign players that you couldn't pronounce? Or? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I thought it would be good to, uh, to listen Makes to you. Makes sense. Try and make, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it would be hilarious same. if this was real, and obviously you had to actually speak to these guys in the changing rooms and try I, and... I just do what I do in work. Right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this this guy's really good, though. Yeah. For a centre back slash centre defensive I was midfielder. To get this guy in, yeah. Nice young lad as well. So um, great pace. I'll probably strength. try and keep this lad. I think. Yeah. Uh, got him from the <laughs> is it the Leeds? Yeah, because he's been out on loan like every single yeah. season there. Okay, and then we got Sonny Perkins, your favourite, oh, the third spell. Yeah, I was glad to get this boy back. This is the guy I'm hoping to sort of help me out and score a few goals for me, really. So, try to get him, and, and he finally come to me. So, I've got him for keeps this time. So, he's my player. Two long deals, yeah. one free signing, Sonny Perkins. The romance is back. Yeah. <laughs> Rob Atkinson from Bristol City, good centre back. You can yeah. play left side. Well, that's where I was a little bit weak in my defence. I felt so. Um, I'm trying to strengthen him up a bit. Yeah. Okay, brings ball out defence. Very good. Jace Fitzgerald signing from Manchester United. Yeah, just another player in midfield to sort of make that a little bit stronger in there as well. Yeah, because you have changed tactics. Changed tactics. Yeah, obviously I was going in one eye. Of course he has. <laughs> then we have Emmanuel Saki. So we've got long deals now. Three long deals coming yeah. in. Striker. I was just a bit worried about the amount of goals that I didn't score. So I thought, if well, I get another striker in on loan and he's half decent, hopefully if one of them's not performing, this guy fit drops in. So that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, good, good pace to him. Scored five I mean, even, last I even season. struggled to get loanee players in, didn't I, really? Yeah. So yeah, the players that I have got in, I was relieved to get them in. Yeah, yeah. I think. Especially Edson the, Tavares. Especially the last two. This guy and the, and the next guy, yeah. I was a bit weak on my wing back, so just strength on my wing backs up. That's what I was going for, hopefully, and got them in. So. I don't think there's been a position which you said you had strength in. Oh, <laughs> keeper, goalkeeper. Keeper. I, am at, I am looked at a goalkeeper, have I? So I Not for like the last couple no, of seasons. No, I am. It's I'm been quite, weird. I'm quite happy with the keeper that I've got. It's very unlike you. Okay, so Ollie Shaw was the only real name that went off on a free trip transfer that's just to, to free up some wages but uh if you do take a look you are 13,000 over yeah. but hey the finances are looking a lot better you've yeah. got a good amount in there now and it's actually more than what your debt is so that's maybe the reason why they're giving you a bit more tactically you've gone for a positive 442 yeah. diamond narrow formation and we picked best 11 it looks kind of like this but perkins is going to be right in there that's what i wanted him to be yeah one I was mainly in, a bit worried about was Harrist up front, and I. Yeah. Um, but then. Um, Instead of Lang insist, staff. Yeah, the assistant decided to keep going with that, so I just went with it in the end. But as you can see, my, my midfield now is three players that I've got in, and my uh, centre backs are the players that I've got in as well, so I was yeah. quite happy with that as well. Two wing backs, so. Actually, every player that I've got in is in the team. Yeah, I would, I'd, I'd say so. So, in my, you know, I have strengthened the team, and hopefully this formation will, will work for me, so. Okay, let's have a look to see what I've done before we have a look at Dad's fixtures. Uh, I had a very fruitful transfer window as well. Uh, I did sell John Duran for £8 million and I also sold Mangala for 1.9 as well as Tyrese Campbell for £6 million. So, got a lot of money in.
what I spent the money on because I had a bit of a transfer budget. Uh, the first sign I actually made was a long sign and a long right back from Portugal. I just thought he was really good and I, I seen how much you, I could get him for to begin with and it wasn't that much at all. So I decided to just go for it to be honest in Travassos. Then I found this man here, Armando Oviedo uh, for 550k and he got a work permit. Exceptional stuff. Play centre attack in midfield. Got great acceleration. I mean, he's a Paraguayan wonder kid. I was sat there watching you get this guy bidding for him and I just couldn't believe how much you paid for him. Did I? <laughs> so cheap. <laughs> My only concern with him is he has a fickle personality, which is not great on Football Manager, but for 450k... It's worth a gamble, isn't it? It is. I mean, two he, goals, two assists. In Paraguay, he got 16 goals and 11 assists yeah. in one season. So we'll see how he does anyway. But he's only 20 years of age. You'll probably sell him for 30 million, though, wouldn't you? I mean, uh, so, so that was the, at the start of the transfer window. Then I got a couple of, well, I got one free transfer in Benjamin Rollheiser, uh, Argentinian 28-year-old from Tottenham, who they picked him up in the first season for 4.5 million eight pounds. Eight goals in six games. Eight goals in six games and two assists. And for an, an eight, attacking an midfielder. one average rating as well. He's been insane for me. He is very good, don't get me wrong, yeah. but I wouldn't expect him to be that good. And already his value, 30 million. <laughs> He's a decent Premier League player, and I've only got him for 32k wages. Unbelievable. Right? I mean, it's still quite a lot for the championship. I'm probably paying at the higher end of the wages. Then I signed Lewis Paris from Partick Thistle, 3.5 million pound. Good striker. Picked up an injury, and I was like, great. Don't actually think he scored for me. Oh, he did score a couple of goals for me as well. Uh, so I decided to go for a few other players as well, bringing in a lone striker in Martin Sheriff just to uh, fill out that striker role because. Paris was injured and he came in and did all right for me as well. So on loan from Everton gives my assistant manager a bit of options while I go on holiday for the season and simulate the season. Zahori though from La Havre, this is what I spent the remainder of my money on. I think Joe Rolls actually retired and my centre mid, Weir, I thought I needed to get a better player if I want to get promoted because I haven't changed my tactic. So I brought in Guy Noel Zahori, 21 years of age, decent Premier League player again is the standard of player that I've gone for and he's fantastic very good first touch and long shots but he's going to play that CDM role a little bit more the physical aspects of his game is fantastic he's six foot four knocks four past opponents he's very good indeed four million pound from Le Havre playing in the second division of France there very good I'm very happy with that. Uh, the last signing was just a long deal to bring in a right-sided midfielder, uh, an Italian Porfiri from Napoli. I'm not, I don't know whether he'll play as many games as what maybe Napoli want him to, but as I mentioned, I'm sticking with the same tactic, but I'm just making sure that Sviliart plays as many games as possible because he does come out of the team when I do my best 11 and Concord goes in. But I actually think Sviliart's better, and what I'm a bit confused with is if I went like this, it does show that a Conco is not as good as Philly are, so I'm like, right, that makes no sense. No. So there we go. Uh, but anyway, still got Juan He Chan in the lineup. Mike Tressa's in there as well. So yeah, we got a really good lineup. Uh, and I think my bench is now really strong too, which is going to help. Oviedo obviously dropping down there. Paris is on the bench. Uh, so I'm really happy with how this team is looking up. So my schedule has been very good. It's been very good. I dropped points first game of the season. 1-1 uh, against Luton Town. Then we knocked out Barrow in the cup. Goals for fun then, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we eliminated from Burnley, unfortunately. That was my crack at a Premier League side very early on. Got eliminated from that. Uh, but every single other game has been victorious for us. West Brom 5-2. Blackburn 5-0. Coventry 2-0. 5-0 against Hull, who had just relegated back into the championship at their ground. Embarrassing 5-0. Uh, then Cardiff... 3-0. It's been happy days. I'm currently sitting top of the championship. But dad, as you can see, <laughs> is down the bottom. And that is because he's had some bad losses. You also beat Hull, though. Yeah. First game of the season, I thought, hello. Yeah. <laughs> We're up, I've been running. 95th minute uh, from Joe Hodge. They actually had a 97th minute goal and then as well. I st struggled to score a goal after that. Then you just couldn't score goals, which no. is, as you mentioned, the reason why you decided to go for a couple of strikers. Yeah. A loss there to Bristol City with a consolation goal in the 93rd minute. Another one there to Cardiff. Then you played Sheffield Wednesday and you battered them 5-1. Just out of nowhere, <laughs> really. Uh, There's no, no explanation for it. And then a loss again to Coventry and yeah. you're back down to earth. 
Okay. I think it's going to be one of those seasons, isn't it? For me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the points tally, I believe I'm about three points ahead of you right now. I reckon I might stay above you this season. I think you will, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to be... I just hope I stay away from that bottom four. Um, yeah. I'd like to think I can get close to halfway if I could, but if I could, I'll settle for that. It's been a project for you, isn't it? Yeah. Out of anything. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. And for somebody who's probably never experienced that in Football Manager, I think it's, you've handled it, it quite well. It's been quite hard, to be honest, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We've been, if you've got enough and every time you go for someone you just no I can't afford that no, especially like sometimes you go for the loan players and you can't even afford their wages 30% of their wages yeah. and you think well, what can I do Yeah. and every time you, you get a player you think you can afford the board just steps in and says no yeah. So, yeah, I've really struggled to just try and even put players into the squad to make the squad bigger, really, because sometimes I was struggling to even have a squad there. Yeah, I, really? I think you're at the tail end of it now, and I think you're at what I was season two or one yeah. of uh, the, the, you know, the growth, even though you've been in the league longer than me. I'm hoping yeah. it doesn't take you as I'm long on, to I'm catch, hoping that a couple of the players that I have bought in will have a good season, and hopefully someone will want to come in next season and just yeah. sort of give me, even if it's like three million, you know, that I can work with just to get two good players in then really, yeah, it, really absolutely okay then let's simulate this season and find out what happens at the end of season number six come on the financial part of the club wasn't the only thing going in the right direction for Notts county as dad's team celebrated some fantastic spells throughout the campaign and played some really nice football there were still some bad losses don't get me wrong but they were at least putting up a good fight i was having a good time too in the championship and for once the incredible start didn't drop off immediately in september unfortunately though Norwich were another team in unbelievable form but I think the Hollywood chairman would still be happy however season number six and I go up as second in the league just behind Norwich promotion to the Premier League dad congratulations mate thank you very much the biggest well done, on my face because we're I was gonna say 10th 10th place from I'm where you were well happy with that it's quite impressive well happy with that 65 I points I had a two. bad finish of the season as well didn't I yeah well Looking you at... drew two one two yeah so you climbed up right at the end there. Oh, I'll take that. Well done. Just a point behind Norwich. Point, that's very that's, annoying. Yeah. How many games did you lose in the Very end? annoying. I lost 10 in total. None against Notts County. Oh. None against Notts County. Uh, you really? lost 19 in total. One against Wrexham there. There might be two. We'll have to have a check. Okay, let's have a look at the profile of, of the season then. So top scorer-wise, I had one there, Martin Sheriff. Uh, Martin Sheriff and Rollheiser got the highest two eyes of, of the average ratings. Okay, Martin Sheriff was also there for the man of the matches. I don't see any of your players outside of the yellow, yellow cards. cards. <laughs> but, I mean, take that mid-table that mid, mid -table oh, finish. I'm, I'm well happy with that. Yeah. Uh, past positions then we can see you had a bit of a nice little climb nice. there drop back down and it yeah. looked quite worrying oh, no. but it's okay you saved yeah. it you saved Time it million. oh that's really oh. annoying that's Ooh. really annoying i was top for 80 percent 90 percent of the season i would say yeah definitely 90 yeah. percent of the season which would have been an extra couple of points but I go up Second, I can't be I mean, too disheartened. You even pulled it back up to first, look, and yeah. then you dropped it again. Yeah, a lot. I must have lost that game there. Lost to Nottingham Forest 1 0. We finished in fourth place. They're in the playoffs. We haven't seen what the playoffs has, has done yet, but myself and Norwich go up. Oh, they don't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> oh, frustrated. <laughs> Southampton was up there for a long time, too. Oh, never mind. All right. Okay, we're on Notts County. Cup competitions. How did you do? Oh, fourth round by Tottenham Hotspur. I knew where the Cardiff one, but oh. So, oh, 3 4. That is close. 3 4. Oh, I got knocked so out by Leighton Orient in a replay in that round. Oh, 92nd minute by Sheldrup. 2 1 up half time as well. I was, I was beating them as well. Yeah. Oh, that would have been hilarious, wouldn't it? You knocking Sorry. them out. Third round. Did you play a Premier League side and get yourself a couple of points there? No. Doncaster. Doncaster. However, I beat Premier League side Brentford in the replay. Come on, let's go. That's a couple of points added on there. Love that. Fantastic stuff. There we go. All right. Well, I don't know how far along I got in the competition. Let's find out because... No, that, oh, yeah, I've lost to Lane in, right, yeah. in second round against Burnley. Oh, I knew that already. Never mind then. Goals-wise, let's have a look at mine so far then. 25 for Martin Sheriff, but he does go back, obviously, to his club, unless I can keep him. Uh, was he at Everton? 
Yeah, they're in the same division. They're not going to loan him back. But he's done very well for me, so I'll take that. I just need to find another another one just like him. Rollheiser has been absolutely outstanding for me. He's unhappy for some reason because he wants a new deal. I mean, yeah, he's only on 32 grand. He, he probably should give him a little bit more than that. But 11 goals, 11 goals. Not too bad, to be fair. I'm going to need to improve definitely my defence, I think, going into the next division because uh, I, I think I've only really got Lewis Binks. He's going to be quite good for me at the back. Yeah, some mascara, 28. Mm, I'm unsure about that. Uh, okay, my budget going into the Premier League is 33 million pounds. And a very good wage budget. So I can probably bump that up a few as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 14 million? Yeah, about 36. Ooh. I'd probably suggest be about being about there. That's not too bad That's at all. That's good, yeah. Notts County, though, what have you got to do for the, the championship season? So you got 19 goals there from your loan signing. Maybe you can bring him back. Probably so both not. Both our loan signings. I, I, talk, I mean, longs are always the way yeah. to go in there in the yeah. championship. Uh, Sonny Perkins with 18 goals. That was oh. a crucial signing for you. Yeah, definitely, yeah. The, That's a good uh, signing the for relationship you. rekindled for the third time. Yeah. George Hurst got 10 goals. <laughs> yeah. No, but Langstaff only got six. I know. That's, I'm a bit worried about that one, really, yeah. to be honest with you. And he's 32 he's as dropping well. Dropping off man. big time. So he's not going to get any better, is he? No. Maybe you need another striker to go up there. Well, you definitely need to replace well, George Hurst come back and scored 10 for me. So Yeah, it's not amazing, though, is it? No. Okay. Some some good 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 loan signings in there. Luke yeah. Gamble was a good one for you to be fair. Good good amount of assists. Played quite a lot of games. But your transfer budget for next season, 1.4 million. It's not, is it? No, because the wage budget is <laughs> over. So yeah, it's probably uh, it's not gonna be a lot at all, is it? It's not gonna be a lot at all. No, it's nothing. Is it's it? zero. I paid more than that for players already. Yeah, I mean, that's the highest probably they've ever finished. <laughs> yeah, and there's no like wanted players either. That's Which it. is going to be your That's problem. Worrying, isn't it? That is worrying. I could have done with like two or three players being wanted now, right? Yeah. I mean, as much as I don't want to sell Sonny Perkins, he's probably the, the only player I could might get some money transfer for, value. Really. Yeah. Uh, well, Jace Fitzgerald, he's there, eighteen million pound. Yeah. Carney's there, fifteen million pound. There's more players that have higher value yeah. than Sonny Perkins, and Sonny Perkins well, is think, probably I your best player. I think I've got to sacrifice one, maybe two players of my best team. Yeah. Best players to buy three or four yeah it's just whether you players. can actually get the money from that's, that's the trouble problem, isn't it, it? Yeah, you know, everyone good. that I've sold has been wanted by a club yeah and I ain't got anybody that's wanted not at the minute oh well we'll have to soon find out I mean I'm really my goalkeeper there is 16 million do I really want to send more you just want to sign more goalkeepers no, that's mean, what it is like I was saying the other way, he's 27 look and he is really good yeah you know, he is do a I good goalkeeper do I really want to get rid of him I don't think so no I'm not going to be looking at selling him Okay, well, there's one last thing we need to do this episode, and that's check up on the points tally. But I think I know who's winning, but let's find out anyway. So, yes, I'll be playing Premier League football in season number seven out of ten. But how long will it take for Dad to join me? As right now, there is still a big gap in the quality of two sides. So the two wins against Dad gives me two points, plus the two points for knocking Brentford out gives me four points. Which along with my point for finishing higher in the league and gaining promotion, which is another two points. My season tally is seven, which added up to what I already had, jumps me up to 23. Now 10 points ahead of Dad on 13. 